Alright guys, and here and welcome back to my Minecraft Survival Let's Play and we're back here at the city but we are leaving for today, well part of today anyway I want to return back to the ancient city and have a look for some more treasures around there I do want to come back here I have decided I want to at least make one piece of building each episode in here just to keep it ticking along with progress Last episode we did the market and we started outlining the towers over there and connected up for the bridge and we cleared all the forest from over there so even if you just come back it's just one building or it's just one small thing a little bit of progress here anyway but we're going to be mixing this up we're doing other things as well so i thought what better way than to take a load of snowballs if we need them and a load of wool and the idea is now we're going to try and get done all the way around the edge of the city get some wool down clear as many of the streakers as we can and what we can see and then we can go in and clear out some of the chests. I'll take a bit, bit more of a planned approach for this. I've brought some nether brick slabs with me because I've got the coordinates to where I was last time. So I'm going to try to put a path in through the nether to there. Put a portal in, hopefully it'll come out where we need it to be. So I need to go towards 51, which is that way, and minus 430, which is that way. And that's been quite a bit of that way by the looks of it. So if we put one single path in that way, I'll try and put the middle one in, have I got my hoe? So first that's first, we're going to get the path into place, get over there, and then we'll get the portal set up. Hopefully we'll come out at the end, end city, ancient city, and then we will take it from there. So I will see you over there, or for shortly for you, quite a while for me. Here we are, nothing like a big bridge over the lava. Let's see if this does not connect up. We are in a cave. This is not what I was expecting at all. I put a few torches down there anyway. What's my corner? I said 37. I am quite low down here. What am going to do now? I might just dig up to the surface. I get one torch back, please. Thank you. I'm just going to break this portal. Like so. And uh, we'll dig straight up and see where that comes out at. It turns out I was in the right place. I literally just came straight up there. So I was in the right place. Obviously, it's put me underground. I'm assuming due to the, my height in the nether. So. I've just been over and grabbed some wood because I never thought to bring anything for torches. Let's go and check this lines up. It does. And back again. It does. Excellent. So, uh, where's my bed? There it is. My aim is now is to get down here somehow. Probably in a safe manner. I think last time I just came up the water. I've said a creep before there. This could be interesting. Yeah, just, just get a bit of distance between me and a potential creeper. There we go. Here we go, there is our wall up from before. So when I come in here, I'll mark off where I need to go. Right, I've got a little temporary camp set up here. I'm just going to sleep and set my spawn. I'm going to use the yellow wall as my marker for just getting around the area. I don't have a way down from here, that's one issue I do have at the moment, apart from flying. Which, no offense, isn't that problematic. I think what I'm going to do is let's put some all on my hotbar. So I'm going to try and I'm going to fly down and land at one place I was before, so down there, and then I'm going to start going around the circular motion of wall around the city, just to get a marking in place of all around the city, and then it's, I've got it all covered, and then from that point we can then potentially just drop down. A little bit more and start taking out some of the shriekers. Right, we'll put some torch on here so we know it's our way out. That 
Let's go down this way. Okay, first shrieker is here. I'm having a look around. I have this little sensor here. Now he's just he's gone and he didn't set that off. I'll take you out. I'll take you out. I'll keep popping the torches down as well. Okay, that fell down there and set that one off. Now, I do know last time I've said I tried to sort of brighten the video up. I'll have another go again with this one. Right, there's a few set, a few of these sensors down there, constant shriekers. But I think I'll have to pop these off as I go down. Should pop some shears with me, really, I think. Any shriekers anywhere? So we'll just start off with taking you out. I can put you down there without them sensing that was one of their what this one over here knows that. There's two here. There's one over there as well, so maybe it'll pop. I see one over there. Take you out. You two gone, I'll pop the torch down here. There we go. I'll take some of this wall back. Okay, I think we've done quite a bit around here. We're in this way in our head. There's a chest over there. One thing I don't want to start doing is start thinking I've got this sorted and that what I'm doing, I'm fine. And then become a bit more lax with what I'm doing. I've already been around here because I can see. What was that? But I say I can see the wall. Put some off, setting something off. Is it up here? I don't believe it is. What I'm going to do is get some more torches ready. Right, these three are going off, but they're not setting any. No sensors are going off. So we'll get these, we'll get rid of these anyway. Right, I'm going to put a wall trail over in that direction. Well, it's no mobs that are spawning here. It just wants to light the place up a little bit, just make it a little bit easier to see as you're going around. It goes off down there as well. But there's a shrieker right next to a sensor, that's one of the right pains to get rid of. I wonder if it might be best to go around the outside. For the moment, just getting some of these torches down. Okay, so that's set up up there. So that didn't set anything off. There's two, I can't see any streakers about. Okay, that's the first one.
And that's the second one. Go straight away. Go the same one. Right. I think I can as well. I can take pauses. Head back out. Drop things off at my main little camp at the top. Okay, so I've been slowly putting in this pathway of wool around the place. Obviously, there's areas like that where there's two. I can hear a skeleton. Is there? Okay. And that's now. I get the feeling these guys are going to end well for me. That's all. Need to get rid of there's two sensors there. Right, let's see if we can get rid of these now. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, that's easy to deal with. That's good. Get rid of the sensors. And if you can get rid of all those sort of blocks in one area. That's a skeleton spawner. Well, it's a spawner. I better go with some torches in that. Okay, so I need a mob spawn right next to a, a city with sensor to turn it to warden. Ooh, name tag. Well, I'll we'll get rid of these two. That's fine. We, as I was saying, I've been putting this pathway all the way around the edge here. And I've cleared out a couple of uh, the sensors that I've gone around. But nothing much else. And I have seen stuff as I've gone past. But it's given me an idea of more of the scale of this area as well. But I do now start wondering how um, I'm going to have to go in to the area and start working out bit by bit how to clear it out. So what I might do is they go to one end here. This is like a section on this end here. There's that sensor there. I can see up there there's a chest. Well, I don't think there's any city down that way. So I'm going to try and clear out this area around here and that tower there. So there's a ladder up there. But where the chest up there, there's no ladder up up to there, so I wonder if we can get up with wall. I can't see anything around here. I'm going to place in the torch and nothing activates, so I should be okay. Yeah, cat, some sensors, echo shard, I think that's my first echo shard. Okay, back on with it now, so I'll think I'll go for that tower next. Actually, I think what I might do is go across into the middle. Actually, I'll cut this middle bit, I think, down here, that might be best, but then go to that tower. Okay, I've got a sensor down there, a shrieker there. Is that enough to block it from the sensor? No, it wasn't, but it didn't set anything off, which is fair enough. So, right, let's get with me wall back. Can't see any sensors anywhere. Is that bat? My bat's setting off over there. We'll get rid of you. There must be something in the game that if a bat and a mob sets off a shrieker, a uh, sensor, they don't alert shriekers because otherwise the warden gets summoned all the time just to like, take out some bats. This is the only one I can see down here. Fingers crossed. I can't see any others, and there may be them though. Done up here, so let's go down and clear out the bottom bit. Right, we've got down here all down done, as far as I'm aware. I think that tower is what I would like to do next. I'm looking around, I can't see any sensors anywhere. Uh, shriekers, there's, there's a couple of sensors over there. We have a chest. 
use your box and stuff. Oh, I'll take it anyway. The chest is gone. I'm not going to get confused by it. Okay, we'll make our way around to this tower now. Again, I can't see anything. I just might have a quick look around that side. I've got two sensors there. No sign of a shrieker anywhere. I'll take one out and see how it goes. I'll go start the second one as well. There we go. You've secured the bottom of the tower. And we're up to the top. There we go. Can't see any shriekers down there. I mean, that's that's the one thing you need. Take out the shriekers. There's like some over there. There's another chest over there. I've not found any of the shards of the that record, new record. Oh, other side. I've not got that one yet. We'll take that. Well, actually, we'll take everything because we'll just take the take the chest out of the way. Right, and we're back on with the search. So now we're done down this section here. Do I now work down this that middle bit, clear that out, and then I can think about working over that way. I think we're okay here. See a couple of sensors over this side, which might be worth removing. We'll make our way up onto here. Loads of candles about the place. See some of the sensors down there. Just trying to spread a little bit of light about the place. I'm going to have a quick look up here. Again, I can't. There's a big altar. I, there's one over that way, I'm sure there is as well. Is it to get two altars in the city? Oh, these are like the poor things, aren't they? Right, quick look around, that's all I think. He says touch wood being cleared. I can see the chest over there. Okay, sneaky. Um, right, warden approaches, so. I think we put sensors in the water. Another sensor around here. Another shrieker. There's a shrieker down there. I don't know if that helps or not. Alright, here we go. A golden apple. Oh, that just one golden apple. We need to get rid of that shrieker over there. I'm going to have a quick look, see if there are other shriekers in the area. This is obviously centered all the way around the shrieker. That's my boat. Try again. Quick look inside this portal. Look at 
no, I would say there's a lot of speculation about what this could be, these portals. What they could be used for. Is it going to be a new dimension? Is it going to be somewhere else to take the player? Or they're just big feet and just to, to wind us all up. But I'm going to have a little bake, give my fingers a bit of a rest. And then we'll, we'll come down here again shortly. I think it's from up there I came in. Right. So actually, I tell you, I'm gonna give, give the city break altogether now. I think I'll come back in another session. So, been there about two hours, and we've got the other side of the disc, which is nice. And we'll, we'll have another exploration in a short while. So, I think what I'll do do I need to sleep? I do. I'll sleep it, I'll head back through the nether, back to the city, and we'll go and do something there. So, I'll see you back then shortly. I just started recording and it starts raining, typical. But there we go, another house is complete up here. I'm quite pleased with how this came out. Slight change to my initial plans because I had a nice balcony down this side. That wasn't an initial idea, but I thought it'd be nice. Good opportunity to have like a balcony overlooking the sea view here. I thought I'd fit in quite nicely. But I did add record all the additional details of what I, what I thought I was recording, but I, um, apparently I forgot to press play, but there we go. My bad on that. Nothing on the inside, but it is plenty of space in here to put something in at some point going forward and then coming out here onto the balcony so you get this nice little sea view overlooking the ocean as well. But this is just another house ticked off, another building done and completed, and I'm happy with that. 
I will come down around at some point to stop with some of these tiers in these buildings. But that's two out of three. The end of the one to go up here, and then we can complete this area up here and get that ticked off. So I'm happy with that. But I'm going back this episode up here, guys. Thank you very much for watching. We've we'll been back to Asian City doing some more exploring. I think one more visit should hopefully clear out the last of it over there with a bit of luck. We've come back and we've got another building up here in the city. And we'll continue work as well as we're going forward with that. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Consider subscribing if you haven't done already. Ring the bell to notify our future content. And I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.